Monday. Oh my God, what a turnaround. So it is Monday and yesterday morning doing an hour's cardio was literally like a pipe dream. I woke up with a pounding headache. I was back in the bathroom and I was like, this is never gonna get better. But in the afternoon, I was steadily actually on the up and I was feeling really good last night. And this morning I woke up and I was right as rain. So we are back on it. Um, I'm just currently cooking up some food. Uh, so I've got some beef mince in there and some veg in there. I've got purple sprouting broccoli and green beans. Um, and the 5% um, fat beef mince, which I have put some herbs, a little bit of chili, I do like chili, um, a little bit of spray light as well just to cook it in. Uh, let's give that a stir. And yeah, that's it. I always add the salt in after um, my food when I eat it. So I know I've got seven twists on there. Right, so I would do a full day of eating for you today, but I think my plan's gonna change because I've been unwell. So I got given a plan on Friday, which normally I would have started then, but because I've been ill, um, I haven't. And because I've been eating what I want to eat, <laughs> um, things might change. So we'll probably do an eating day later in the week, but yeah, technically the um, mince, 125 grams of mince and 50 grams of veg is now in place of the morning eggs that I have and also the bedtime eggs. With regards to food on the weekend, um, I have basically just been eating what I want to eat <laughs> and trying to be sensible about it. Certain things upset my stomach, um, but I also wanted to get food in to recover. Uh, now, Charlie wanted me to eat as little, pos little as possible because I wasn't active, um, so I just went, okay, sure, and just kind of did what I needed to do because getting back on track and getting my body healthy again and happy was the most important thing to me. I don't want to slog through the last couple of weeks, so I'd rather make a full recovery and then, you know, attack it hard again um, and, yeah, just finish it properly. Personally, I feel that following coach's orders got me into this mess in the first place, but let's not talk about that now. So I just kind of, you know, did my own thing. Um, I managed to get quite a few steps in yesterday, about 18,000, and I did quite a few steps on Friday, which was about another 18,000, but then I wasn't really great on Saturday, so that was about 6,000. So yeah, activity's been really low, although the calories that I've been eating, about 1,100. I've been hitting on Friday and Saturday, and then yesterday was about 1,300. So relatively low, but then obviously I haven't been doing all, all the exercise. So I don't think, you know, I haven't done too much damage. A fair bit of peanut butter and rice cakes, which actually was the only thing that my stomach kind of agreed with. Um, it really didn't like chicken. And definitely not caffeine, I made that mistake on Friday. Uh, what else didn't it like? I don't know, but I cooked up some white fish as well, which is on my new plan yesterday, um, and that was nice. So I wish I'd actually switched to fish earlier. Um, I think if it was like fishy fish, it wouldn't have been good, but it's bassa, which I love. It's kind of like a very meaty fish. So that's what I've stocked up on anyway for um, the next couple of weeks. So that's where we are at. I've just done an hour and 20 minutes cardio. Uh, I've done an hour on the Stairmaster and 20 minutes running, which I didn't think I'd be able to do because my stomach has literally been, it hurt, it has been hurting to walk, but yeah, I managed it and I'm just, yeah, definitely on the up. I mean, I'm improving all morning, so I'm just so pleased. I'm so pleased. So I'm going to eat this now and then, um, so I'm going to have 125 grams of mince and some veg, 50 grams of veg. I'm then going to have a shower and do uh, check-in photos for Charlie. I did some measurements as well. I'm, uh, this morning, on my weight, which isn't, um, it pretty much is where I was at on Thursday before I got ill, so... I think we're okay. I'm holding on to a lot of water as well because I lost a lot of water. So now my body's like, ah, like water, great. Like, let's hold on to it. So I think, yeah, water levels are gonna be all over the place. So I'll do my check-in, see what Charlie says and what my new plan is. He'll put me a new plan together. And uh, yeah, then we're, we're back in the game and back on the road, getting this show back on the road. So I will check in with you later and let you know uh, what the plan is. Yo, yo, it is Monday evening. So really just a few hours since I last spoke to you. Um, I'm multitasking. I'm out walking the dogs while also dyeing my hair. Uh, I had my highlights done earlier. My friend Adam came over to do those, which was well in advance, well in advance of the show, um, but worked out really well uh, because I'm shooting with Matt tomorrow. I actually did message him yesterday morning when I was in a world of pain. Um, just saying, is there any chance we can move it? This is the state of play. I've been ill for four days. 
it's a big disaster, which he was absolutely willing to do, bless him. Um, but then this morning I woke up like a brand new human. Um, so I dropped him a, a message to say, we can go ahead. So we are going ahead. Uh, I'm not really prepared for it, but uh, I've just rifled through my drawers and found bits and bobs that I can. Really, I just need some um, brand shots because I've changed my hair color and all the other stuff is purple. So I'm not really fussed about the, the gym photos. I don't really need those. I've not really got used to them, but I do want to do the water shoot a bit um, because because you got it right so hopefully we can do some fun and creative stuff with that tomorrow so that is all going ahead at 2 p.m for about three hours normally i'm there so that's on the agenda tomorrow so i was going to do a um eating date with you but i'm not going to do that tomorrow because it'll be a bit all over the place and a bit chaotic um with the shoot so probably on wednesday i will do an eating day um, but i will get my bikini out and show you that tomorrow i promise i promise i know i keep promising this um but i absolutely will so um no change to my diet well this is a brand new diet that i've started today but i sent the check-in to charlie earlier and he just said right we'll just carry on with the plan and um, put the weekend behind you just let's crack on and uh, get back on track so that is what we're doing so the main changes in my diet are um, my pre and post workout because uh, we've taken the oats out um, and instead there is just white fish and green beans or broccoli or some vegetable uh, for pre-workout um, and then post-workout is basically a ton of white potato uh, 225 grams of it which i actually really enjoyed eating earlier i find i find potatoes really boring um but right now i just any food is good by me so um that's the change there and then also instead of eggs they're out um and there's lean beef mince instead uh, which i showed you earlier so yeah there's instead of bedtime eggs and morning eggs uh, we've got bedtime beef and morning beef uh, but i will do an eating day with you on wednesday so i can show you all of that jazz so i'm getting my last few steps in steps have actually come down to twenty two and a half thousand, uh mainly because all the cardio and steps broke me <laughs> so uh, we've brought them down a little bit cardio is now 20 minutes post weight workout cardio but i do that in the morning with fasted and an hour fasted so still the same so i did my hour and 20 this morning which was awesome i've got so much energy like oh my god even though i've literally been on my knees for the last four days or certainly about three of them uh the break has done me wonders and do you know what i've realized my brain i think was shutting and shut down in order to conserve like energy for all the physical stuff that i was doing and that just started working again yesterday like i could get work done i could think straight like i was back to me it was just oh it was just amazing so i um i devised my talk that i think i've mentioned quite a few times that i literally just couldn't do so i did that yesterday i've still got to flesh it out um lots of practice and all of that but i just i feel like me again i just needed i just needed a break and my body was just shutting down and it just it shut down it, sh it shut down last wednesday it just said no no more so i'm just yeah i'm i'm glad it happened i'm glad i'm, I'm feeling better and I'm, I'm heading into the show this way as well uh god if i if i'd limped on I mean, I just don't know what state I'd be in, but I think I would have absolutely, I was hating it anyway, but I absolutely would have hated show day as well. Who knows? We'll never know. So yeah, brain's back functioning. Body is absolutely back functioning. I had a really good leg session today. I did my full leg session when normally on Monday I do quads and glutes. Um, I did my full leg session because I didn't do that on Friday and I didn't want to do legs before the shoot. I want to do arms tomorrow. So I'm going to just do the workout that I missed last week as well um or well not just arms but it's the whole upper so that's what i'm going to be doing tomorrow basically just carrying on um as normal so yeah i'm just this is going to be a bit of a weird week of workouts because i'm two days behind but we'll get it all done as long as it gets done and the boxes get ticked then it's all good so yeah no changes to weight workouts at all um just a little bit of change to the cardio and an hour and 20 is manageable in the morning um particularly now that i've had four days rest technically although my body has been working damn hard fighting this virus so i'm sure that's you know burned quite a bit as well anyway just in a damn good place which i have not been in a good place for 
a good few weeks now so I'm just really really happy about that uh so I will check in with you guys tomorrow for the shoot day and yeah looking forward to it I'm holding a, quite a bit of water because my body like it's got water in it's like yay holding on to it which isn't ideal for the shoot but I don't want to push it back just for the sake of that I just really want to get it done because I tell you what after this show's done I'm I'm done with dieting completely I will see you guys tomorrow hello it's nearly shoot time i have done my hair and my makeup i need to tame my hair particularly this little dude here um and also powder my face but i'm pretty much ready um i've got two layers of tan on and on that i was gonna tell you what tan i use so i do my own tan and i just apply it with a mitt um, but a nice velvety mitt so it gets a really nice like buff on the skin and I literally just get this one off Amazon I was using another one but they only do it in massive litre bottles um, and I've been using some beds so I can use so I don't have to t use tan as much so I don't think I'm going to get through that so I went back to this one which is great so I've got two layers of this on um, I put the second layer on last night um, and the other layer on the night before also absolutely love this moisturiser I buy it in bulk I get it from Amazon and it's so, so good. I mean, you can see kind of the finish on my skin anyway, but it's it's not like super greasy, but it does, you just feel like nourished and moisturized. So it's a really, really nice one. And I highly recommend that. I think it's only like a few quid anyway. Um, I literally get six bottles at a time. I think I've got it on um, subscribe. That is my moisturizer, body moisturizer recommendation. And also my tan as well from Amazon. So sun tanner is called blackberry it doesn't really smell like blackberries it's good stuff it's a professional tanning solution but you can just rub it on with a mitt i used to do tans actually uh run them through my airbrush which i use for makeup um but then i had a fight with my airbrush and i broke it many years ago and it just never got repaired so i just started applying it with a mitt and i was like well this works so that's what i do now uh, normally you know i used to whiten my teeth and do all that jazz like I don't bother anymore um, because when you've got a huge amount of tan on, your teeth like glow anyway. So I have nothing on mine. They're pretty glowy. Um, derma planning, actually, let's go back into the bathroom, is something else I have. So I've actually had a lot of my pre-show treatments now, 10 days out. So my waxing, it's really annoying because I'm going to have a bit of hair growth back. So I'm just going to have to tweeze because I can't, there won't be enough to wax before show day um so oh, i just have to figure it out when we get there uh, which is another reason why i'd be really annoyed um, if i was too ill to do the shoot today because i've had all like stuff done but yeah derma planning just removes all the little um hairs off your face so i get a lot of like down like baby hair so it's just uh yeah just moving that off it's in one of my previous videos actually um i've got sue's doing it so I will try and find the link and pop it uh, in the um, description of this video for you. That's what I've had done. And nails, which are already chipping and they're um, OPI. My nails are really brittle at the moment. They, they were brittle, then they got really, really strong. Um, and then they're going a bit brittle again. And the gel is like peeling off a little bit. But hopefully that'll sort itself out soon. Um, so yeah, I'm very colour coordinated, as you can see. And my phone as well. Uh, no, you can't see that, can you? Oh, make any sense. Right, uh, so I'm just packing up a bag as well. I just, do you know what? I'm literally just taking everything because I don't know what to take. Um, I am planning on doing, um, well, I need some brand shots for work. So not so much of the body ones. I said to Matt, I'm not really fussed about gym shots uh, with gym equipment. I'd rather do something fun and creative and arty, potentially nude stuff, but obviously not showing too much in the final images. Um, so that is the plan for today. Um, so I don't really need many clothes for that, but I have taken some underwear. I just don't want to end up with the same stuff that I had last time, which is pretty much what's in this bag because well, I've been single five years. I don't really buy underwear very often. No one sees it. And I'm not an underwear girl. I don't really buy it for me. I'd sooner be on like sweatpants or like big granny pajamas. In terms of outfits, uh, this one's a new one from Riderwear, which I have not worn yet. Um, so I'd like to get some photos in that. But otherwise, I just stick with black because other things clash with my hair otherwise. So I've got lots of options. I've got short sets um, as well. So there's just some bits in there. I'm also going to take... So I had like a bandow top for the water shoot last time. I'm going to take that again. But I realise now I've got my practice um, posing bikini from Anetta. And 
that would be quite cool in the this, this shoot because it's quite um it's quite skimpy uh so it's good for the for the water um but also it's got little diamantes on i actually think that'll look really nice with some shots so i'm going to take that with also take my posing shoes but i'm normally always in bare feet with matt or trainers so i'll just take them just in case uh also going to take some props as well because i need stuff for work so laptop a coffee mug <laughs> um and my book as well because i have not got any recent shots of me and my book hashtag no filter needed so i'm going to take that with me and yeah that's pretty much it in terms of diet today i've literally just carried on as normal um i had a few glasses of wine last night uh which i normally do before a shoot to to just pull a bit of water out of me but then I had to do an hour and a half fasted cardio this morning and I drank two liters of water. So I knew that wasn't gonna make sense. And basically I just wanted the wine. So I had it considering I've been like on death's door for four days and I'm better. I just, I really don't think it matters at this point. So my promise to myself, if I got better, which I now am, is just to enjoy this process now and not be stressy about it. So that's what I'm doing. And that's why I had wine last night. You know, we're looking all right. We're looking good. So it's 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 all good. So yeah, that's that. Right, talking of bikinis, I'm gonna go downstairs and show you my show bikini. Okay, bikini reveal time. Are you ready? Here she is. I received this I was just like oh okay because I said to Anetta she said what color do you want I was like surprise me like just it's your creative project just go for it so yeah when I received it I was like mm, that's a bit of a strange color but actually it goes perfectly with my hair especially these little the, these little crystals in the middle so yeah really really nice because we would have struggled with like a strong bold color it would just be a bit of a clash with the hair so yeah I am just so excited. I think it's gonna look so awesome on. So yeah, I'm just, I'm super happy with it. Anessa's done all my bikinis uh, and I just, she's such a lovely girl. She's just so fab. And yeah, she's just gone all out with this one. So I've never had like these big crystals. It's just gorgeous and I'm so excited. And to be honest with you, this is probably the number one factor as I was shivering on that sofa the other day, telling me that I couldn't give up because this bikini needs to go on stage. So really it's, yeah, it was, it was the bikini. The bikini is a big motivator to just get on that stage no matter what. So I'm gonna pack my bag up. I've just brought it downstairs. So we've got everything here, as I mentioned, everything you've seen in the bag. There is my book, there's my laptop. Here is a mug. Um, this is my practice bikini, also from Anessa, which I love. So I think that's going to look fab in the water shots. Um, posing shoes, just in case. And what my carb meal. So what I've had today is my beef mince and veg, which is my morning um, thing that I have 30 minutes after cardio. Within 30 minutes of cardio, sorry, of finishing cardio. Um, and then I have my pre-workout because I had to get training quickly because obviously I've got the shoot. Um, so my pre-workout was 125 grams of sweet potato, uh, 120 grams of fish and 50 grams of veg. And then I'd have my post-workout since I got back, which is 225 grams of white potatoes, like so many potatoes. It's all good. Like carbs are good for, for shoot anyway. So that's why I've just carried on eating food today. And another 120 grams of white fish. Um, so in here I have 90 grams of rice, uh, chicken, 120 grams, and then 50 grams of veg. Um, so I'll have that after the shoot because I will be hungry. Um, and then I've got two carb-free meals left and my bedtime beef, uh, which will be the same, 125 grams of beef mince with 50 grams of veg. So that's in place of the bedtime eggs that I used to have. And the carb-free meals are just 120 grams of chicken and 50 grams of veg twice. I don't even know if I'll eat all that today. Oh, one thing I did cut out is my intra-workout drink because I don't want to drink a load of water. So I've just kind of focused on food. So I'll, I'll have, I've got three, two 1.5 liters bottles in the car, um, which I will do on the way back from the shoot. Um, I'll be thirsty anyway. And so then my water's kind of in. I'm on five liters a day at the moment, but everything's all over the shop because I've been so ill. So yeah, just getting as much water in as possible. Step wise, I'm at, I'm at 15,000 steps uh, today. So far I've got 22 and a half thousand to do. So I will probably be 
out walking <laughs> late tonight um, with the doggos uh, to get those extra in. But to be honest with you, I am really not breaking myself over stairs. I'm not breaking myself over anything anymore, not after last week. Um, so if the sets don't get done, I'll just do a bit extra tomorrow, whatever. It's really not the end of the world. Um, so I'll do my best. They need to go out for a walk. It's good for me to get out for a walk. Um, but you know, I, I'm not pacing around like a mad woman in the middle of the night anymore. <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. So I'm going to get on the road because I've got to leave in like five minutes. It's about a 55 minute drive. See you later. Wednesday cardio has been done. And it was a really good session, actually. I am just really liking my cardio again. Probably because I know that there aren't that many more days left of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just feel like completely re-energized and revived since um, I got ill. So as horrible as it was, glad it happened. So yesterday was amazing with Matt. Nothing went to plan, not that there really was a plan. Um, but what I'd done is I sent over a few um, images while I was out on the walk that morning, just as like kind of a, like a vibe check of what I wanted. I needed some shots for the website, um, but more like clothes ones. And I've done all the gym shoot stuff. So uh, I didn't really need any of that. And I do love the water. So I just thought, well, you know, let, let's, let's just have fun in the water. Um, anyway, when I got there, um, he picked out a message and had a look and we sort of sat down. He said, look, to be honest with you, like your last water shots were like absolutely epic. I just don't even know how we top those. So I'm thinking instead, do you want to do some lifestyle shots outside? Because I sent him like a Pinterest board. Um, so you get those shots that you need and then we can do some more arty creative stuff in the studio, which is also what I sent him. So I sent him like these kind of artistic, like nude images. Some were from his page, actually all were from his, his page, but quite a while ago, because it's not something he often does. So that's what we did. So to be honest with you, all those outfits never really got worn got some yeah good shots out and about and i was pretty much naked the rest of the time uh so i'm really excited to see the edits well actually the raw files which should be with me uh he's super quick so it might even be today potentially tomorrow so i'm excited to see those and i was it was so busy yesterday and also to be honest with you i was butt naked in the studio so i couldn't have really done that many behind the scenes because i wouldn't be able to, to put it here um just to let you know the, the final images are very tasteful and everything's kind of covered so yeah i didn't really get any behind the scenes stuff um uh, but I have filmed Matt before, so um, there's there's a couple of videos of behind the scenes at, at Matt Marsh Studio if you want to know how that goes on my channel. So um, have a route and found, find those or drop ask in the comments and I'll, I'll send you the link. Um, so yes, hang around to the end of this episode because I know I'll have the raw files by the time I get to editing it this weekend and I will put them at the end. So today I thought we could do an eating day um, because I'm checking in tomorrow, which is Thursday instead of Friday. So my plan might change. I'm on like a peaking week plan. The name suggests to me that it will continue on to next week, but uh <laughs> you know these guys by now as well as i do that anything can change at any moment so i'm going to do a full eating day with you today um and then that's done and then we'll do check in tomorrow and then the next episode will be peak week uh, so i'm going to go off to the supermarket now and get some more bassa fillets and some white potatoes and some veg broccoli oh my god i literally ate three of my meals in one hit when i got in last night i was so tired i was absolutely knackered but the weird thing is i'm on like the calories are about 1500 i feel like i'm having so many carbs because of all the potato but actually i'm really not but i'm feeling very satisfied and i also think it's to do with the fact that all like skinny sauces are out my food now and additives and stuff like that so everything's quite plain and it's just more satisfying and fills you up i think when you put sauces and stuff on your food and you put lots of seasoning it makes you crave more of it and it makes you think you're hungry when you're not so yeah like plain eating is like the way forward this is I, I have experienced this before but i'd forgotten so um yeah it's just super interesting right so anyway i'm gonna head off to the supermarkets and then we'll kick off the first meal of the day so first meal of the day is 125 grams of beef and 50 grams of vegetables which i have chosen purple sprouting broccoli and seven twists of salt as well which i have on every single meal so this is to be had within 30 minutes of doing fasted cardio it's the first meal of the day also was mentioned to make sure i chew about 20 times each mouthful it's quite a lot of meat in this peaking plan diet um which can be heavy on the digestive system so making sure I chew my food, which I do need to be reminded of because when you're quite hungry, you just like waff it down. And I think that's just a good practice to get into anyway, chewing your food that amount of times to make it easier on the digestive system and also to 
make sure your body notices that you're getting food and you're not just cramming food in um, and not actually realizing what you're eating. Anyway, I'm bloody starving, so I'm gonna eat this now. It is time for my pre-workout meal. So it's about half past 10. I had my morning beef at half past eight. Um, so I'm all showered and sorted and I've just been working, um, catching up on the like, emails and stuff on the laptop. So I'm gonna have this now and then take the dogs for a little walk while it's dry. It's supposed to be raining, although it doesn't look like it's gonna rain. So I'm gonna do that and then get to the gym for about 12-ish. So I can be back this afternoon to deliver a live session. Um, and I'm very, very hungry, so I'm gonna tuck into this, which is 50 grams of broccoli, 125 grams of sweet potato, and 120 grams of white fish, which is bassa. Annoyingly, they didn't have any bassa at the supermarket this morning. So I got smoked haddock, um, but I didn't buy too much of it because I wanna switch on to bassa. I'll have to go to Tesco's. Um, I went to Aldi this morning and they didn't have it. Annoyingly, they had it before. Um, and when I went to Tesco's afterwards, they didn't have it. So I thought I'll get it at Aldi and now they don't have it. So anyway, um, I just find fishy fish like, oh, so if it's smoked, it's okay. Um, but too much fishy fish just, yeah, it makes me want to vom. So uh, this is what we're going to have now. Uh, and then on to training. And then the next meal will be my post-workout meal. Oh, and my intra-workout beforehand. I'll do that with you as well. So I'm just mixing up my intra-workout drink, which has got all the usual suspects in, which I have done before. So in here we have 25 grams of cyclic dextrin, which is normally the amount that I have. Um, then 20 grams of hydrolyzed uh, whey protein isolate. So this is in place of the Petto Pro that I was having. It's just quite expensive and this is a good alternative. So I've got 20 grams of that inside. Creatine, I bought another one of these just because it was the cheapest on Amazon. So that's just one gram of creatine when I was having three before. Uh, five grams of glutamine, five grams of taurine, one gram of electrolyte powder. So I'm gonna mix this up. Um, Give it a good shake. It actually does mix a lot better than the uh, Pepto Pro did, uh, which is good. And then I just put lots of ice in it and, and shake it up nicely. So I've given this a good shake with lots of ice and I'm now making up my pre-workout. So I've shown you guys this before and I love it. A new one just arrived today or yesterday. I picked it up from behind the bins where the delivery man left it this morning. Applied nutrition. I just love the flavor. Maybe it's nostalgia. I don't know. I've tried other ones and I just love this one. I just keep referring back to it and it's not expensive either. I think it was about 23 pounds on Amazon. So yeah, it gives you a nice pump. Um, it doesn't make you too tingly or bright red. Um, so, and I just love the icy blue raz flavor. Um, so one scoop. I literally don't think I would get through my morning cardio without it. So the dose is two scoops and I have one in the morning uh, just before I go off to do my cardio, which is pretty much first thing. Um, and then I have another when I do whoop, my weights workout. If I'm doing a cardio day where I've got like double the amount of action uh, on the cardio, then I tend to do probably one and a half scoops. But you know, one's enough, one's enough anyway. Um, so the good thing is at least I can use it for my cardio and I'm not going over. Um, and then I just, as I said, I do drink decaf coffee throughout the day um, when I was having Diet Cokes, because also they've gone out now. I can't have those until show day. They come out two weeks before, any artificial sweeteners and processed crap, basically. I was having caffeine-free Diet Coke um, just because I was aware that, you know, this is quite a high caffeine content. So I'm gonna bosh this back um, and then take my intro workout and my rather tired ass to the gym for leg day, which I'm dreading because just with all this cardio, my legs are just kaput. Like they're just constantly in pain. But not long now, we will get through. Oh, and the idea with the intro, by the way, is to be sipping it on the way to the gym. So I'm sort of part way down. Um, I'm finishing it about half an hour before my workout. So I'm actually using the carbs as opposed to finishing it when I finish my workout and then I haven't used them for, for the workout, if that makes sense. Um, so that's, yeah, the science there. All right, guys, I'll see you later for post-workouts. And there are a lot of potatoes in that. So here we have my post-workout meal, which is 225 grams of white potato and 120 grams of white 
fish. And I am very much looking forward to it because I'm hungry again. It is coming up to four o'clock. Yeah, just coming up to four. I'm having a carb free meal. So this is salad um, with 120 grams of chicken. So it should actually be chicken and veg, but I've got loads of salad left over, which I want to eat before it goes off. I don't think I'm going to get through it all. So I'm having salad with when I have my chicken and the rest I have with veg. So I'm going to tuck into this. I was debating whether to have my carb meal. So I've got one carb meal left because I'm about to go out. I've got about 10,000 steps to do with the dogs, um, but I'm working this evening from six until probably about half eight-ish. So I thought I'd save my carb-free meal there for a little um, energy boost, which I'll probably need later to get through work. So I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna head out on our walkies. It is time for my carb meal. It is coming up to about six o'clock. We have just done our walk. I am just shy of my uh, daily step target. I've done 24 and a half thousand. I'm supposed to do 22 and a half, but I only did about 20 yesterday because I was shooting with Matt. And when I got in, I was just so exhausted. I thought I was gonna make myself ill if I pushed myself out. So I thought I'll do them tomorrow. And I've done 24 the day before. So I'd bank some and I've done some extra. And I'll do the 500 easy uh, pottering around the house this evening. So this is my carb uh, meal. The only carb meal of the day that isn't a pre or a post workout. And the other two meals are carb free meals, which is just chicken and veg. So we've got 120 grams of chicken, 90 grams of rice, and 100 grams of salad, which should be 50 grams of veg, but I'm using up the salad. Um, so I'm gonna eat this, and then I've got to jump on consultations and deliver a live session on self-sabotage uh, to my coaching group. I'll be back when I'm eating my next meal. So this is another carb-free meal, my last carb-free meal of the day. 120 grams of chicken and 50 grams of veg. Um, I'm really over the salad. Salad is actually really rubbish when it hasn't got dressing on. Um, at least the vegetables are tastier. So I'm having that now with the chicken. Uh, it's half past eight. And then I've just got one meal to go, which I will probably have soon after this actually, because I'm probably gonna get into bed so I can get up nice and early to hit my cardio tomorrow um, before chicken. So I will be back with you in a jiffy when I eat that. And we have the final meal of the day, which is my bedtime beef. Uh, so this is 100 grams of beef mince cooked, lean beef mince. It's 125 grams when it's raw. Uh, sorry, yeah, 125 grams raw, 100 grams cooked, and 50 grams of veg. So I'm gonna have this, and I'm gonna hit the hay so I can get up early for cardio tomorrow and check in. But what I'm gonna do with this episode, because I think it's quite long already, <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave this one here because we are heading into big week now. So it's the final week. So I'm currently 10 days out. <gasps> Madness. Um, I have no idea what tricks they're gonna pull, if any at all. Um, but I will find out after check-in tomorrow. But that's gonna be on the next episode. So make sure you subscribe so you know when it goes live. And as always, if you've got any questions at all, then drop them in the comments below. I will answer them. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you so much, as always, for watching.